guys, welcome back. So today I'm here to talk about back to school. Most of our kids now are back to school and their back to school schedules are, we're in the midst of that and getting back onto a routine and all the craziness that comes along with a new school year. So today I thought I would share with you a few things that help our family transition from summer days to school days. Now I will mention, I am not a veteran at this. I have one in school, two at home. Um, I have a first grader. And so I really haven't been doing this whole school thing for all that long. But I have learned a few things, um, you know, just within the past couple of years that really have helped us out. So let's talk about that. The first thing that I remember actually my parents doing with my sister and I, um, when we were younger, and I am now doing with my own kids, um, is getting into a school routine or getting back into the school routine a few weeks before school actually starts. Now, I remember being a kid and listening. We lived in this awesome neighborhood with tons of kids, and I remember listening to the neighborhood kids play outside until like 9 o'clock at night, and my sister and I were in bed by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. And, you know, at first it would really like bother me, like, oh, they're still able to be playing outside and whatnot. But I honestly do remember that my sister and I did not have as hard of a time getting back into the swing of things as my friends did. So I now, looking back on that, thank my mom and dad, you know, for kind of getting us back into the groove of things before school actually starts. Because I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I remember as a kid being really anxious for a new school, you know, when the new school year started because there are changes. You have a new teacher, um, new classmates, and just a new year in general brings some anxiety on children. So I think it's really important to start getting them into the school routine before school actually starts. So that's one last thing that they have to adjust to during a new year. The second thing that we try to do is really eat healthy. Now. Obviously, we have takeout once in a while. I mean, we have frozen pizza once in a while, but um, I always try to make a healthy breakfast for my kids to start the day off right. I pack lunches for my son, um, so that way I know he's eating things that I would want him to be eating, healthy things and that sort of thing. Um, and just always having a, um, you know, a nice dinner for them too. I mean, like I said, there are times that we do take out. There are times that we do frozen pizza and that sort of thing. But it, as a whole, um, really eating healthy definitely helps fuel your children. It helps give them energy. It helps them get them through the day and just feel better all around. So eating healthy is one thing that, you know, really I feel benefits the kids when they're going back to school. Another thing that we um, try to do is prepare everything the night before. So. What I mean by that is make sure that the clothes are laid out for the next day. I make sure that my son's backpack is all ready to go for the next day. I pack his lunch the night before. So that way, in the morning, we're not running around trying to find backpacks and shoes and clothes and all of that sort of thing and pack a lunch and then somehow squeeze in a breakfast before running out the door. Mornings are just solely for breakfast time and kind of, you know, talking about the day and what's going to be happening for the day and that sort of thing. I feel that really sets the tone for the day. If you have chaotic mornings, which everybody has, um, I definitely feel like it just sets you off on the wrong foot. So I want my son to go off to school on the right foot, you know, just having a nice breakfast and not be rushing around, not be running around trying to find things. Um, and that sort of thing. So preparing for the next day, the night before, really helps us a lot. Another thing that um, we're just starting to do this year is really get into a good homework routine. Now, my son was in kindergarten last year and preschool the year before, so he really didn't have a lot of homework. He might maybe had, you know, a few worksheets here and there, but it wasn't anything on a regular basis. This year, however, he will be having homework on a regular basis. So it was really important for us to establish a homework routine right off the bat. Um, and by that I mean we, my husband and I kind of explained to our son what we expect from him. Um, and that is when we come home we can have a snack and then we're going to get homework done. I think this will be beneficial to him throughout his entire school 
school career if he does establish this routine early on. Because not only will he just know what to do and what to expect, so getting homework done right off the bat is easier in the long run because then he has the rest of the night to kind of do what he wants and not worry about homework. Same thing, even Friday nights, we, you know, he comes home from school, he does his homework, so we're not worrying about it throughout the weekend. Um, I think that's just really helpful for kids if they know what is expected of them early on. So that way you kind of set that foundation for the rest of their school year, so to say. Um, another thing about that I think has helped us and something that we've kind of learned along the way um, is to get everybody on board. My husband works a lot and I think I, like last year, found myself, I knew what was going on with my son's schedule. I knew what, when he had a field trip, I knew what, you know, he was eating for lunch, all sorts of things, you know, and what he had for homework and his teachers and all of that. And I think I kind of left my husband out of the loop a little bit because he does work so much. So this year we're really trying to everybody get on board. So this is a group effort. Even my younger children, I talked to them and you know, we said this is when D this is the time that Dylan comes home and does his homework. So this is when we need to be playing quietly. Let's take out some puzzles and do puzzles or play quietly with your toys. But this is a time that Dylan needs to concentrate on his homework. So again, just kind of having everybody on board with the whole process, I think just helps the family as a whole. Um, my husband definitely, you know, expressed to me last year that he really wanted to be more involved and he really wants to, um, not that he wasn't involved, I don't want to send that message out there, but, um, you know, I think it's hard sometimes when you have one parent who's working more or one parent who's home and doing most of the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle, so to speak. Um, I do think that, you know, there there is a little bit of a lack of communication that just happens and you don't necessarily mean it to but it does happen and so this year we're really working on that we're really working on everybody just being on board and everybody working together and again I think that will just benefit the family as a whole so those are some things that really I think help us get the school year off on a good note and help prepare the kids help maybe ease some of their anxieties um, and just have a good school year all together. So we're, that's what we're all trying for, right? So I hope you guys and your children are having a great start to the new school year. And if you have any tips or tricks that help you and your family, I would love to hear them. So please share in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching, guys.